So I'm going to start off with camouflage and sight. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, obviously you look at camouflage and um, that's, it goes without saying turkey hunting is not a sport where you can get ground level up close with an animal that can see really well and not utilize camouflage. So as we talk about camouflage, I don't want to talk about what camo works and what doesn't, but generally speaking, how does a turkey see? So when you're looking at the camo you're wearing and as well as how you camouflage yourself in terms of how you set up in the woods and how you move and, and all that kind of thing, um, what does science tell us about how a turkey sees and what they key in on and how can people use that information to make themselves better um, in the woods as a turkey hunter? Sure. No, that's great. Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to do try to do short, quick answers so we can cover some of this. So, so turkeys have what's called monocular periscopic vision. Okay. So um, the reason they bob their heads is because they don't have depth perception. So just based on how their eyes and where their eyes are set at. So they're bob by bobbing their heads and constantly moving, they're remeasuring the distance to different things. Now turkeys, um, they see color and, and UV um has a pretty they, they see uv really well um but we don't know uh like we don't know the color ramp they see in does that make sense so we don't know that their red and our red is the same red you know um but we know that they see they do see color we know that they that uv light um you know uv reflectance does tend to impact them which makes sense because insects um tend to have a uv signature um and if your uh, species forages a lot on insects you know it's good to be able to see them when they're down in the grass and everything. Um, so we know that from a from a sight perspective, these birds are they're they're set up to quickly measure depth, distance away, and that the the color ramp that they see probably doesn't match ours exactly, and that they've got a real tuned vision for for UV. Um, the only other thing I guess I would add into the, the sight thing is that. Um, you know, when you, when you think about sight, the reason they're moving their heads is they have a really good sense of space. Um, they know I was here yesterday and that wasn't there. I'm gone. So a lot of times, uh, getting back to, you know, one of your questions is interacting with the birds. You know, if you're, you don't have a blind there one day and you just go dump the blind out there the next day and sit in it, the chances sometimes, chances are that bird's going to see it and be like a little bit sketchy and be like, I camouflage or not, that wasn't there yesterday, and I'm not going to go anywhere near it. So they have a really good sense of kind of memory spatially on what they've seen. So with the UV, mm -hmm. maybe it goes without saying that for a lot of reasons, but if, if UV is a big thing for them, shade shade and contrast is a big deal in yes. how you sit and how you camo. Yes, it is. And, you know, um, I've seen uh, – you know, I've seen some pretty neat things at the the turkey convention. Some folks were doing some work with UV blocking, uh, uh, like lotions and glasses and, and those type of things, and, and you know, clothes and whatnot. Um, you know, I think that the rub becomes if you know you don't want to be a black blob out there either, right? Um, because yeah. then you're just as noticeable. You want to be uh, ragged, is I guess yeah. the word that I would use, because that, that kind of makes you blend in backwards. So yeah. Interesting. I've often heard, uh, just as a quick aside to that question, I've, I've always been told or heard that turkeys key on movement. And, I, and that may be an obvious thing to say because everything keys on movement. But is that, is there any, is that, or is that just a wife's tale, so to speak? No, no, they do. And if you're a thing, you know, if you're a thing that walks around and everything wants to eat you, yeah. anything that's moving, <coughs> excuse me, anything that's moving, you need to be able to catch it with your eyes. Um, and then that, and that goes back, not just to the site, but just turkeys in general, you know, a, a, a rafter of turkeys, you know, a flock, a rafter of turkeys moving around the woods. You know, that's a lot of heads and they're always looking and bobbing and everything. Everything's looking for movement. Right. Um, so yeah, that's not old wives tale at all. That is certainly something that happens. And, and, you know, I'm, as we all have, you know, I've shifted an inch and a half and had a bird blow on me and, once so other times I've pulled all the way across and, you know, have not moved. So, but, but yeah, absolutely. Movement comes into play. Um, and I think that, I think that it's not just the act of movement. I think that it's the act of movement that changes what the birds visually seeing. Is it a color flash? Is it a UV flash? 
or is it, is it something like that that as you're moving you shift that what it was kind of ragged and looked like it was sitting back it shifts and something just yeah. pops out at it. and i think that's kind of what it is because everything with them is depth perception so cool